Behind me is the Natal Originals Walnut Kit in custom sizes that the guys in the tower very kindly made me. And um, yeah, I love it. Super punchy, really easy to tune. Um, and yeah, it just works in every situation I put it in. So yeah, it's great. They sound beautiful, really, really nice, really nice tone to them. I didn't have to do hardly any, any tuning to it. Just got it pretty much out of the box and did a few tweaks. It all, it all sounds really good sort of thing. Fits well on the scope, so it's a uh, job done. I mean, today, for instance, we've been doing some stuff where we've been playing two kits together and it's, they, they work together so so well, mm. but there's still, there's still a significant difference, but the sounds complement each other. So found straight away, we, neither of us had to tune either kit no. massively. We both just had them how we had them and then straight away listening in there, it sounded, sounded great. It's funny this term hybrid because it's like, um, you know, I've, I've always championed sort of using electronics along, alongside with, 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 with the kicking stuff. But it is, a, it, is a, it is a challenge because the thing is, I, I always approach playing electronics completely different to how I play an acoustic kit and just have to separate the, the, the two things because both techniques are a, a really different sort of thing, you know. I found that when we were talking about this kit here, at the moment you can see that the toms are all set up quite flat and quite close. And I quite like to have the electronic pads around in, in a similar sort of way. I think one of the challenges I had at first when sort of Andy encouraged me to, to, to come up with my own sort of setup with uh, electronics was, was just getting everything comfortable. And, and with these sizes, these short toms, I found it was really easy to get the pads and the toms close enough together so I felt comfortable and the transition between two techniques was a bit easier. We tried to come up with parts where we're not playing the same thing exactly at the same time because it's like, what's the point? So, so we, we were just finding grooves which sort of knitted around each other. So I'd be playing on different parts of the beat side that Ollie was playing and vice versa. We found that those those worked a lot better sort of thing. So it's more like, I think it's like a, a drummer and a percussionist sort of thing, even though we're playing it both on kiss. But you're just finding parts parts in in the groove which you can kind of fit in like a, a counter rhythm thing into it and that. But I think those ideas will work, work the best. Yeah, so essentially two drummers building the groove together rather than playing the same groove twice yeah. together, if that makes sense. So yeah. Yeah, if I was playing on the beat, Andy's playing off the beat to try and create a, a bigger sound for two, for two drummers to play. Mm -hmm. 